Okay, just finished doing a whole bunch of fooling around with this, where I've got that little test rig that I had set up uh, for running our Ryobi lawnmower 40 volt electric motor off of two of these Ryobi 18 volt battery packs. Um, we're using a few parts like the, uh, the dead man switch or power switch um, and the handlebar from the lawnmower. But down here we got a e-bike uh, throttle. So it's got a voltmeter, which also acts as a power on indicator. And we've got an on off switch here. This turns the controller on and off. And it's alive, it spins. Now, of course, uh, we've got it in neutral right now. Reverse, neutral, first, second, third. Also, um, normally you would pull this handle to release the brake. This is still spring connected going down to the uh, transmission, but I have the rod that goes to the brake on the transmission disconnected. So there's no brake on this for the moment. And that's just to make it easier so I can work on this without having to hold this in to be able to let this move. So now if we look on the other side of this board here, uh, we've still got all the stuff that I had for our little test rig before. Um, got our three cables here, going from the motor controller to the motor. But if we look underneath now, our motor is mounted down in place. And we've got a pulley on the motor. And what I did have to do is I didn't quite have all the right parts. So um, I've got an idler here. And on the other side, I've got a, a thing that I jerry-rigged up. Um, uh, a couple of bearings, like rollerblade bearings, just bolted on there, uh, essentially just as a way to take up some more slack because this belt was way too long. But it does go back to the, uh, the input on our Pureless uh, transmission here. Uh, nice unit. It's a Model 820, real solid. It's exactly what you would want on like a riding lawnmower or something. These wheels are huge. They're, this, is, this is basically an electric riding lawnmower, just one half of it, <laughs> you know. Uh, no steering wheel, no cutting deck, but it's, it's the drive system of, of a riding lawnmower is really what it comes down to. Now, I don't love this and this is temporary. Um, but I just wanted to do that to be able to um, see if I could get this going rather than having to run out to the store again, get the wrong size belt again. I figured I had, I'd at least just use the parts that I have to see if this thing would work at all. Um, this does rattle. It spins. It's noisy. If I tighten it down more, it snugs down on the bearings, then they're not really doing their job anymore. Um, but if I just turn this by hand, oh, I shouldn't do that because I think power is still on. Um, keep your fingers out of things. I'll, I'll have to shut the power down if I want to touch anywhere in here. Um, but that's it. It does at the moment seem to work, although it's a little noisy because of that uh, that weird little bearing setup that I got there.